aspirants i once again welcome you all to daily newspaper analysis of shankar ias academy today's date is 12th of september 2024 now before getting into news article analysis i have an important announcement for you as you all know upsc preliminary examination is getting tougher year on year that is why we have brought to you the pre storming test series it will be starting on 16th september 2024 we have provided the registration link in the description you can click the link in the description and register for this particular test and check your preparedness so with this notice let us see the list of articles that we are going to discuss today this first article is about pm swanidhi and the second article it is about organ on chip technology and the third article it is about dri so without much delay let us get into the newspaper analysis now look at this article about pm swanidhi the author of this article states that the idea behind this pm swanidhi scheme has helped a lot of businesses to go into formal sector and he also suggest to implement the model in other sector as well so what is the idea behind this pm swanidhi scheme let us see them in the prelims perspective first we shall see what is the purpose of this scheme see it provides financial assistance to street vendors who got impacted by covid-19 to be very specific covid-19 lockdown a lot of sectors they got impacted due to the covid-19 lockdown one among them was the street vendors so by providing a financial assistance the government is trying to make them enter into the formal sector this also mandates them to use digital transactions so this is how the entire scheme works so the implementing agency is the ministry of housing and urban affairs in short called as mohua so what are the objectives of this scheme as i said earlier it provides collateral free working capital loans then it encourages digital transactions and finally it facilitates integration of street vendors into the formal economy now let us see some of the achievements of this particular scheme see it has sanctioned 12739.6 crore rupees to 6.5 million beneficiaries around the country and it has actually recognized street vendors contribution to indian economy and this particular scheme is successful in many states especially in maharashtra karnataka and tamil nadu now let us quickly go through some of the recent updates in this particular scheme see priorly street vendors they can get only loans up to 10000 rupees but currently they can get up to 20000 rupees as their secondary and up to 50000 rupees as their as their third loan if they repay the loan at time so the loan coverage and the entitlement has been encouraged so the loan coverage and the entitlement has actually expanded secondly the digital transaction rewards has been given in the form of incentives for example for every digital transaction 1 rupee will be provided so this will be provided up to 100 rupees per month this means that in a year they will get 1200 rupees as incentive itself then by adding a lot of competence to it pm swanidhi has transformed into swanidhi se samridhi so if you are asking what is this new component to it it is nothing but the socio economic profiling so what is this socio economic profiling it is like taking the data of socially backward people and their income source and creating a profile for each individual so this profiling so this profiling will help in integrating them to many welfare schemes like jandhan yojana pm aavas yojana and etc so the pm swanidhi scheme has actually upgraded to swanidhi se samridhi through this socio economic profiling so these are all the recent updates with respect to this pm swanidhi scheme now let us see the current reach it has reached over 2.6 lakh loans and nearly 13400 plus vending zones has been identified and it has aimed to support over 42 lakh street vendors by december 2024 so these are all very relevant facts that you have to remember about pm swanidhi scheme this can be asked in both prelims as well as mains you can use it as a value addition in mains answer writing so what we saw so far we saw about pm swanidhi scheme its objective we saw some of the current reach then we saw the recent updates regarding this pm swanidhi scheme so let us try to solve this prelims question the correct answer for this particular question is atmanirbha bharat abhiyan so with these learned points now let us move on to the next news article discussion now look at this article from science page this article talks about organ on chip technology see for a researcher to bring a drug from the lab to the market it at least takes a decade of testing trials and 
getting approval. So to reduce this timing only, this organ on chip technology is suggested as an alternative. So what is this organ on chip? Let us see them from the prelims perspective. See this organ on chip is nothing but a miniature device that mimics human organ functions. If you are asking how, it will be actually recreating organ environment using live cells and tissues from that particular organ. This will be stored inside a chip and this chip will be used for any drug testing. So this will actually reduce the reliance on animal models for drug testing. So here you can see the actual chip, how it actually looks and this is the anatomy of the particular chip. Here in the holes, they will contain the original live cells of a particular organ and all these red and blue lines are nothing but artificial blood vessels. So by using this chip for drug testing, we can actually reduce the time to identify the side effects of a particular drug and it has many applications. Let us see them one by one. See the first thing is, as I said earlier, it helps in drug testing. So it helps in drug testing by simulating organs like even heart, liver, lungs and etc. So it not only reduces the reliance on animal for drug testing but also reduces cost and time for drug approvals. Secondly, it can be used in personalized medicine. See, particular person has particular kind of illness. So the chip can be personalized based on the need of that particular individual. So this will actually reduce the side effects cost due to a drug to that particular individual. So this is what it means when we tell personalized medicine. Thirdly, it helps in this is modeling. For example, even cancer, diabetes and heart attacks, they can be simulated inside the chip and they can be tested and they can be tested easily. A very good example for this is lung on chip for asthma. Now, apart from drug testing, it can also be used to check the effects of chemicals, cosmetics and pollutants. So it can be used in industries even like cosmetics. Apart from this, multiple organs can also be used in this particular chip. So this will help in identifying the drug effect on different parts of our body as well. So these are all certain applications of organ on chip technology. Now let us see some of the shortcomings with respect to this particular technology. See the first thing is technical complexity. So we require expertise to deal with this particular technology and creating the right environment for living cell is actually a challenge. Secondly, the material issue. Certain materials like a PDMS, it is actually a type of polymer, they actually absorb live cells. So this will manipulate the further testing process and might show unfavorable results. Now, thirdly, there is regulatory hurdles. There are challenges in being accepted as a standard alternative to animal testing. Apart from this, there is cost and accessibility issue. It requires high investment and only the industries that could afford could use this technology. And finally, there is difficulty in reproducing complex diseases. For example, sometimes it may not fully simulate complex diseases involving multiple organs. So these are all certain shortcomings of this particular technology. So, so far we saw about what is organ on chip technology. Then we saw what are its applications and some of the shortcomings. Now let us try to solve this particular question. So what is the correct answer for this particular question? The correct answer here is option D1213. So with these learned points, now let us move on to the next news article discussion. Now look at this article about Directorate of Revenue Intelligence, DRI. The news is that Supreme Court is reviewing its 2021 judgment that limits DRI's role to issue tax notices under Customs Act. So this is what the news article is about. So in this news article discussion, let us revise about DRI from the prelims perspective. See, DRI is nothing but India's apex anti-smuggling agency. It works under the Department Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs, in short called as CBIC. So the ministry that manages DRI is Ministry of Finance. It was established in 4th December 1957. Remember, its headquarters is in Delhi. Now, let us quickly go through the functions of DRI. See, the first important function is it combat tax evasion, smuggling and economic offences. For those who don't know, tax evasion is nothing but illegal non-payment or underpayment of taxes. Secondly, it enforces certain important acts like Customs Act and Allied Acts like Arms Act and etc. Thirdly, it works in intelligence collection, 
analysis and dissemination of any smuggling activity that is happening in a particular region and it also investigate and prosecute smuggling cases. Finally, it prevents smuggling of contraband or goods that have been imported or exported illegally. So, it takes care of smuggling of those contraband goods. Now, let us see the organizational setup of this DRI. So, in the central level, there is a Directorate General. He takes care of the overall supervision and policy formulation of DRI. He is assisted by additional Director General and Joint Director General. And below them comes the Deputy Director General, DDG. DDG takes care of specific unit or investigation. Then in the regional level, there are regional directors. They head regional offices and oversees DRI's operations. Below them comes the deputy regional director. He assists RD in managing regional offices. And then comes the assistant director. He conducts investigation and supervises intelligence officers. So in the field level, there are intelligence officers, IOs. They carry out the primary investigation and also gather intelligence and conduct raids. And below them are the preventive officers or in short called as PO. They prevent smuggling at custom checkpoints and airports. So this is the organizational structure of DRI. So, so far we saw about Directorate of Revenue Intelligence, we saw about their functions and then we saw some of their organizational setup in both central, state and the field level. So, with this understanding, let us solve preliminary question. The correct answer for this particular question is option A, one only. So with this, we came to the end of the newspaper analysis. If you like the video, hit like, do comment and don't forget to subscribe to Shankar IAS Academy YouTube channel. So thank you so much for listening.